Hey guys, I wanted to show you this Moody Olson team listing. Uh, it's a 1600 square foot, three bedroom, two bathroom townhome located in Cottonwood Terrace, almost in the heart of Summerlin. As you can see behind me, I'm walking down a beautiful tree lined street, uh, which is very unusual for Las Vegas. You can see grass in the yards, uh, the birds chirping. It just feels like this neighborhood would be cooler in the summer. It just gives a different kind of vibe than you would normally find in Las Vegas. It's pretty centrally located. Minutes from downtown Summerlin, Red Rock Casino, tons of shopping, restaurants. It's just a few minutes from the 215 freeway, so you're going to have easy access to the airport, to, to Red Rock Canyon, uh, to the other freeways in town. It just, it's just a great location. Uh, as we're walking down the street, it's about 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. As you can see, it's overcast. It's been raining. The weather's been really nice. Uh, you have people out walking their dogs, kids playing. I'm gonna show you this beautiful home. I'm gonna show you a resort style pool that this community has, plus a really nice gym and clubhouse. So let's go check out the house. So guys, as we walk into this 1600 square foot townhome, uh, the first thing that you notice, especially for the year that it was built, 2001, it's a really open floor plan. Uh, Mike is standing in what I would call a den or a bonus room. As I work my way into the living area, you can see it's a really large area. The kitchen is going to be off to my right, your left. And then I work my way into the living room, has a beautiful fireplace with tile accent, a huge slider to take you out to your very private backyard with really nice views. We'll make sure that you get a chance to see those as well. Uh, the carpeting is plush. It's nice. Uh, just got cleaned. And as you can see, coming to the kitchen, now the kitchen is going to be a little dated. Again, it, it's a 2001, but still has that stainless steel package. Nice, plenty of nice countertops where you can do your cooking and cleaning uh, and just spend time with the family. I love that there is a little bar up here so you can get some high top bar stools uh, and really enjoy conversation while you're in the kitchen doing your thing. You have a laundry room and access to your two car garage as well. Uh, there is a full pantry and it is a gas stove. I know for a lot of you coming from other parts of the country, you might be used to electric, uh, but we do have gas here, which is also a nice bonus. If you follow me, we'll work our way down the hallways. We'll check out the other small bedrooms and then we'll work our way over to the primary bedroom and bathroom right this way. Now, as you can see, it has, well, you can't see it because we're not pointing it to you, but this room has large arch ceilings. Uh, they get up to about 20, 25 feet. So it really gives the home a lot more space or at least that feel of a lot more space. Um, we have the lights on so that you can see that it is a well-lit home. Uh, beautiful artwork on the walls. Obviously that won't come, but as you come down the hallway, you have a full bath right here uh, with a tub and a, a shower, which is always nice. And then right behind me, you're gonna have the first of two secondary bedrooms. And then off to my right, your left, you'll have another secondary bedroom. It's set up as an office right now, but easily turn into a bedroom, no problem. Plenty of storage, two linen closets here and another linen closet behind us. So you have plenty of storage. Let's go check out that uh, bonus room with a den as well as the primary. So as I walk down the hallway, I'm gonna, we're gonna walk into that bonus room or den. Um, they've really got it set up to be more like a, a study or a library right now. But again, you can do pretty much whatever you want with this room. It could be a great dining room. It does have the vaulted ceiling, so it gives it that feeling of more space. It's just off the main living room and the kitchen, so it's easy access, but it also has that separation, so you can feel a little bit more private over here having a conversation. Or if somebody's in the other room watching TV, you can sit in here and read, uh, study, homework, whatever it may be, and really have that feeling of, privacy. It's really nice. Let's go check out that primary bedroom. As you can see, the primary bedroom is a very large room. It has the arch ceilings as well, so it starts off at 15 feet and works its way down to about eight. Uh, but it's a large room. You can definitely get a king-size bed plus all your furniture in here. Again, it's off the main living area, so it's separate from the other bedrooms, so it will give you that level of privacy plus it's towards the back of the house. Let's check out the primary bathroom as well. So it's a large primary bathroom. You have the dual sinks, which is just a must if you're not living by yourself. You have a large walk-in shower uh, that does have plenty of storage and a bench. Uh, you have this not great window here to allow that natural light in while you're getting ready or changing for ladies putting their makeup on or gentlemen us doing our beards and hair. Now let's check out this very large walk-in closet. So I'm standing in the primary closet. This is a large closet, uh, especially for this size of house. You can see it's about six seven feet wide and then about 10 feet long it's got the built-in uh, cabinets and storage as well as hanging racks 
So you can definitely fit a lot of clothing in here and storage as well. Let's check out this backyard, guys. Uh, it's really a nice private backyard. Uh, you do have a neighbor on one side and then kind of a walkway on the other. Um, it's all rock. Uh, so it really gives it a, a very comfortable feel. It's gonna be low maintenance. And as you can see behind me now, that is your view. Uh, you got a spectacular view of this desert oasis behind us, plus the Spring Mountains. Uh, as you can see right now, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but we are having a storm. So those are just getting dumped on by snow, uh, which is gonna make it a really pretty view over the next couple days when it starts to clear up. Uh, this backyard has a, it features a brand new air conditioner. Uh, it's less than 60 days old from the time of this filming, which is early March, 2024. It does have a gas sub out, so if you wanted to put a grill out here, uh, you can easily hook it up to the home's gas. And it does have an electrical outlet, so if you wanted to do some lighting or different things out here, even a water feature, you could do that out here because it does have electrical out as well. So let's talk about amenities. Uh, Cottonwood Terrace has a lot of great amenities. As you saw, the tree-lined streets, the grass, um, the way they, they, they upkeep the homes on the exterior. But now we're standing in one of their best amenities. As you can see, I'm in the gym. Obviously, it's my second home, right? Uh, this gym really has everything that you're looking for to get a solid workout from elliptical machines, running machines, uh, walking machines. You've got some weight systems and, you know, Mike was showing me his, uh, his pull-ups. Um, so, I mean, it really has all that you need. It also has a small kitchen area over here. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to keep something cold in the fridge uh, or you need a sink to wash up, whatever it is, of course, there's restrooms in here as well. And it's got the soft mat floors. This is all included in your HOA fees. Uh, so you get this full gym workout experience right steps from your doorstep in this community. This is only going to be available to residents and their guests. Uh, so it's never going to be too busy. I've been in here a couple times now. And I really haven't seen anybody taking advantage of it. So if you're looking for a private workout, or just a space where you don't have to spend the money on a gym uh, and it's convenient to home. You can walk right down to the clubhouse. It does have a small kitchenette area so you can keep your drinks cool uh, if you wanted to, especially if you're gonna take advantage of the pool area, which we're gonna ch uh, check out in just a moment. Follow me, let's go check out the pool. You do get this fob so it keeps it private. You pop the fob right here and open the door. So I wanted to talk about more about the amenities of the community. Um, as you can see behind me, you have this beautiful grassed area with a gazebo. Great for picnics and family time as you uh, come out in, in, the, in the warmer summer months. It provides you that shade. Uh, and then you can take advantage of this resort, resort style pool. This is a huge pool. I haven't seen pools like this at some of the hotel casinos. As you can see, it is a huge pool. It could, you could fit 150, 200 people in there easily. So if you have a lot of friends, invite them over, enjoy the pool. They have the loungers throughout, so it really gives it that resort feel. Uh, and you can really take advantage of all the amenities that this beautiful community has to offer. Plus, we're standing up by the gate. So on just on the other side of that gate, you're gonna have a lot of different shopping opportunities. There's an Albertsons. There's a couple of great restaurants and fast food places. Um, if you're from California, there's a Randy's Donuts right across the street. As you can see, we just left the gym, so I'm ready for my donuts. Um, plus you have Red Rock Casino right down the street, which is gonna have great restaurants, entertainment, bowling, movie theaters. Uh, you should check out our Summerlin video on that. Uh, plus you have Downtown Summerlin. Again, we did a walking tour of Downtown Summerlin. Uh, one of our very first videos, you should check that out. Critique it for us, let us know what you thought, because we are thinking about redoing that video. Um, but this community itself just really is set apart. It's not on a busy highway, it's not on a busy street. It's tucked away behind some great shopping, some great restaurants, so it's gonna be quieter. You're not in the flight path, which is rare for Las Vegas. Uh, so you're not gonna have low-flying planes. Uh, you're not gonna hear that busy street traffic. Uh, so it really kind of is an escape and an oasis in Summerlin that's gonna keep you close to everything, but give you that privacy and that quietness that you may want.